That was me three years ago. In January of 2019, I received a heart transplant. This is a quick look back on what those last three years have been like. Straight out of the gate, I fought migraines. And I'm not talking about a headache you had the other day. I'm talking full blown, can't see, can't get out of bed, uncontrollable vomiting, completely debilitating migraines. And this was going on four to five times a week. It took my doctors almost 10 months to get them under control by changing some medication and adding some new ones. I've experienced heart rejection twice in the last three years. Both cases were mild. The first time was shortly after transplant. They found it during normal routine checkups and were able to take care of it right away. The second time was about a year and a half after transplant. Jesse and I were hiking the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. Uh, after a few hikes, I wasn't feeling great. I was feeling nauseous and lightheaded and dizzy. Jesse can't go any further, so we have to stop. I'm not even wounded. Uh, so we called my doctors and they said I needed to get back into the hospital right away. Both times required several days in the hospital to receive IV steroids to fight off the rejection. Uh, but after that, I was completely fine and didn't have a problem with it. Other than a quick bout of shingles that I got because of my suppressed immune system, I've been completely healthy since. Physically, I did great after transplant. Mentally, that was a completely different game that I was not prepared for. At first, it snuck up on me and disguised itself as the side effects of all the medication you have to take. But then once the doctor started slowly weaning me off of some of this medication, I realized it was something else. I don't know, I feel like I'm starting to suffer from depression maybe i'm not sure what it is but i just can't like i'm stuck in this house and i'm not stuck but it's just i feel like i can't leave like i don't know i haven't been able to figure out how to explain it yet but i'm definitely stuck in some sort of rut it's almost like procrastination but i think it's more than that maybe some anxiety but i definitely think i'm having some depression i have no idea what to do with my life i have no idea what i'm doing like there's no i don't know like I don't have a job or anything right now. You think they'd be like, oh, I've got so much to do. And I do have things I could be doing, but I cannot get started to do them. So I don't know. I still have demons that I fight daily, but I'm doing much better mentally now. And it's a process that I'm continually working on. I don't know, but whatever it is, it, I gotta figure it out because it's starting to take a toll on like, well, taking a toll on my life, obviously, but it's taking a toll on Jesse Jesse and the kids and I don't know, it's just starting to get a little too much around here, so. I decided not to return to my nine to five job that I had for 18 plus years prior to transplant. Instead, Jesse and I have been running our bed and breakfast full time for the last year now and it's been going great. I've returned to doing almost everything I did prior to transplant, although some things will never be the same. I stay as active as I can, but I do notice that I get exhausted pretty easily and my stamina is not what it used to be. Oh, I'm exhausted. The mountain kicked my ass. But all in all, the new heart's doing great and I feel great. This is not a one-size-fits-all recovery and just like everything else, it varies from person to person. I've spoke with other heart transplant patients and we all seem to have similar experiences just with different severities in different areas. Now, the good days have finally started to outweigh the bad days and I look forward to many more good days to come. And if organ donation is something you've never thought of before, maybe take a few minutes and do some research. Maybe become a donor. It 100% saved my life, and you may be able to do that for someone else. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you.